Hey, it's Ancient and Jealous, and we are back for what might be the final run or installment of Hitofu Boyfriend. I don't know how much video is going to get recorded in this run. Um, in order to get the true endings, aside from getting all the other birds, dating all the birds in the school, um, I, have to, I have to start over again, and I'm offered a choice. And it says, you could take this chance to fulfill a promise from long ago, or you can live a normal school life this semester. Which do you choose? Uh, fulfill the promise. Is there anything you desire? I can grant whatever you wish. Tell me. A strange bird once said that. Who was that bird talking to? Kind of wondering who was just talking to me there, but, you know, whatever. I'll, um, I'll check back when something new happens. Hmm. After the, uh, the sports, uh, festival, I was introduced to this screen. It's very weird. I've had this dream a lot recently. I can see a little house on the other side of the fence. I wonder who lives there. I don't think it's anyone I know. Colleen is next to me, and my parents are here too. We're all together again, but... Mom? Dad? Hey, wake up. Please. weird all right now after um after colleen flags you down in the hall and starts telling you about the rumors in school and in my case i'm romancing angel just because he was my favorite uh after the scene where he breaks into the classroom through the window and then you have to take the next exam this screen came up. So, that dream again. Colleen, my parents, and me at a stranger's house. The strange bird who comes to me is a magician. He says he'll grant any wish that Colleen and I make. This better not be an elaborate fix to the Ryuta story. Like, oh, I wish that he could live forever because he's afraid of death. I, I don't know. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But one day. And we move on. Alright. Catch on the next weird intermission. Alright, we got a little side bit that I don't ever remember being a thing. Uh, apparently... Ryuta was sick and didn't show up for class and the teacher says that he probably went to the infirmary and that I should go check on him and I'm getting this weird side thing of well I should call it Colleen uh, going ah I'm late I've been slow getting out before but I've never slept through my alarm like this I don't know why I'm getting dialogue and probably inner monologue for Ryuta. That's weird. Like I have some kind of psychic connection to him. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Anyway, gotta go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sorry I'm late. Good morning, Kawara. We were just about to sit down. Late on the second day, as expected of a feral. <laughs> now, now. Sir, where's Ancient? Isn't she here? Apparently not. Oh god, is this gonna be like, um... Oh god, what's that show called?
is it is this game gonna be from the mind of an autistic child? No wonder her kind died off. Where are you, Ancient? Usually you'd be here early. You were late yesterday and now this. I think we can start homeroom now. Today we'll do a little review on the history of bird kind. You wait until now to teach that? What a pathetic country. Of course, everyone learned it years ago, but it's required for the second day of semester. Uh, back when we birds were still beasts and pets, a virus known as AH5N1 appeared. Is that the bird flu? Is it H1N1? At first, it only affected birds, but it, it underwent a mutation and spread to humans. This mutated strain was highly infectious and an extremely high mor mortality rate. It became clear that it posed a threat to the survival of the human species. So the humans engineered a powerful virus to cull birds and prevent H. AH5N1 from becoming pandemic. In hindsight, it seemed foolhardy and rash, but the world leaders of the time saw no better option. Except the new virus didn't work. Infected birds didn't die. Rather, their brains grew in size and power, starting with doves. What? That's why doves make up the majority of professionally qualified workers today. <sighs> like Ryuta, really? Other birds, including quails like me, are still adapting to social life. Incidentally, I heard that the first puffin in history to hold a governorship was elected last month. Even Hoppos, which were once close to extinction, can now be toilet trained. Okay. Ah. The bird looks dead. And as you know, the Prime Minister of Japan is a shoebill. That, that has white eyes. Like straight up zombification going on there. It's like that... That crappy movie on Netflix, Zoo Zombie, where all the animals in the zoo turned into zombies and started eating people. Don't watch it, it's terrible. Uh, anyway, the development of social intelligence in birds has a huge impact on their predators. Which leads me to the next point. Since their gambit failed, humans were left defenseless to a H5N1. Most died out. The few that are left now live peacefully with birds, though in the past there were large conflicts. Like, oh, this explains Alfred Hitchcock's movie. It was a documentary. Wow. What about the awful sequels, like The Birds too? Ah, uh, that's the bell. We'll vote on student council members in the second period, so be on time. Did I die off screen? Ancient never came. That's a shame. I was hoping to at least come a few times during this game. Uh, I hope she's okay. Maybe I should try calling her. Quara, do you have a minute? Uh, sure. We're supposed to get our print boxes today. Would you mind picking, a, uh, picking ours up? Our print box? Yep, it has all the handouts and everything, since we don't have a council yet. Okay, it's in the faculty room, right? That's right. Who, they let students just wander in and out of the faculty room as they please? A little weird. Uh, if you could have it back here before second period, please. Print box, print box. 
I can't believe I'm playing as Ryuta now. This is a nightmare. My character's probably dead. Inside the faculty office is a stack of cardboard boxes. These must be the ones. This one, maybe? I pick up the box marked 2-3. It's awfully heavy. I doubt Ryuta could pick up anything. Probably throw up in the box. Uh, I guess the paper isn't exactly light, and there isn't much of it. Oh, thank you. You were okay by yourself. He's never okay. Uh, it was a little heavier than I expected, but I was fine. Let's take a look inside, then. J don't tell me my body's in there like it's a shoebox. Uh, just to make sure everything's there. Huh? Did you cut your wing, Koara? Cut my... I don't think so. It's bleeding. Did he murder me? It is? Did I scratch myself on something? It doesn't hurt at all. No, this isn't my blood. What is that? And I both read that and I'm thinking that. There's blood leaking through the corner of the box. I feel sick. Well, that's nothing new. Uh, but I reach out and open the lid anyway. Inside the box. It's, a uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's head? No, it's probably my head. Human. Head. Oh my god, I'm right! <laughs> Movie 7, anyone? Um, the eyes are gla uh, glassy. But even like this, I, st I still recognize her. She wasn't late. She was here all along. Wow. This, it can't. Looks like I clocked out before you did there, Ryuta. Well, what? Look away, Koara. Looking will only hurt you. Ah, ah. Emergency alert, emergency alert. Ah oh, shit, it's Silent Hill. Pyramid Head's coming. We have entered a state of emergency. Alright. All students, please evacuate the gymnasium. Repeat, we have entered. Coo, coo, what is happening? Why is everything red? I don't know. Bah! Until we know what's going on, there's nothing we can do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out for, Koara? Come on! No! I don't want to leave Ancient here alone! It's... It's a head, dude. Even I'm saying that. That's my head. I'm telling you. It's just a head. Get up! She's gone! <laughs> Forget her! She's gone! <laughs> That thing is no longer in jealous. <laughs> it can't be. Did did my death turn him into William Shatner? It can't be. There's a head inside the box. Come. By the time we arrived, the gym was already I hate that I'm playing as Ryuta, by the way. I absolutely hate it. The gym was already crowded with students and teachers. No one seems to know what's going on, though. Uh, I would imagine the last remaining humans being very pissed off that their ambassador was murdered. One would presume by the doctor. No evidence, though. The gym echoes with whispered speculation. Hey, did you see the box? Yeah, you had that, too. Yep, well, the class rep opened it, and I didn't see, but... Apparently there was a human arm in it. Oh, close. Ours had a <laughs> half a leg. Oh my god, they all had one. It was really gross. They cut up my body into pieces and put it into different boxes. From this, from the snatches of conversation I hear, it sounds like all the print boxes had a piece of human corpse in them. They were all pieces of ancient, I wonder. Were they all pieces of ancient, I wonder. Nobody seems particularly concerned. Which isn't all that odd. It was grotesque. 
but it's not like it was a dead bird. Oh, right. It was just a dead human. Look, I'm all for treating dead animals the same as dead humans, but, I mean, come on. Now we're being lowered on the pedestal. Just some primate. Inaki, this isn't some idiotic disaster drill, is it? We're not supposed to have one until next month. Do you suppose it has something to do with the distasteful box? That was definitely Angelus's. Bah, won't someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah, someone tell me what's going on. This is a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up, someone wake me up before you go, go. Uh, no, I'm not singing, wham. What the fuck? Mino. Is everyone here? This is Ichojo Mino, the headmaster. The headmaster? It seems we have all gathered together without panic or noise. Excellent. Unfortunately, there's been a natural disaster outside. What the fuck is going on? This school is a designated evacuation site so please remain here a little longer is this because I like stopped appending apocalypse with angel because that ending didn't play out fully I was trying to date him natural disaster nonsense the weather is perfectly clear cool Okosan felt no earthquakes it's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything I read that like a robot. It's not like we're near a volcano or anything. I demand an explanation, Headmaster. Just what is going on outside? Does this have something to do with ancient, a Angelus Ancient? Why have you brought us here? I repeat, there's been a... No, imbecile. You imbecile. Imbecile. Uh, the gymnasium erupts in whispers, dis whispered discussion once more. Well, that changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. Are you alright, Kawara? Uh, no. Um, yes I am. Well, he clearly moved on without me already. Uh, this could prove to be a very bad day for us all. Could prove to be. It already is. Woo, Mr. Nanaki, Ancient is miss missing. Wow. Okosan is dim. Too bad he didn't become true pudding. Maybe he would have understood. Woo, she must have run off somewhere. Okosan will go look for her. Ugh. San, no, she's... Dot, dot, dot. San is an older breed, much closer to pigeons of the human era. Well, clearly. I mean, the portrait was clearly a Pidgeotto. Uh, maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. Trying to explain would only hurt him, uh, hurt myself. I was going to say hurt himself, but I was going to take a razor to his wing. Uh, the headmaster has proven entirely unhelpful. What should we do, Nanaki? He romanced us all. Well, I should say, she romanced us all. Uh, well, we can't exactly carry on with class. I agree with San. Let's go get ancient. You mean the pieces? Calm yourself, Koara. To relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency is suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Sir, we can't just leave her in there like that. May I go back to the classroom just once? Well... The principal asked us to remain here, but he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym, now did he? Ellipses? I'm coming with you. As president of the student council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Thanks, uh, Sakuya. Do not flatter yourself. I'm not doing this for you. Angelus was foolish, loud, and had no manners or sense. But she never deserved anything like this. I swear by my blood and the name as a LeBouf, <laughs> I will find the one who did this. 
like OJ. No? With the the wing does not fit, you must have quit? I don't know, birds don't wear gloves. Uh, you shall be my assistant. Come, Koara. Right, even though it was Ryota's idea, Colleen's idea, excuse me. And so I exited the gymnasium in Sakuya's majestic wake. I want to... I want to know what happened to Ancient. Who did that to her, and why? Uh, number one suspect on my list is the doctor. Number two suspect on my list is the Hawk Party. Can the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why would the headmaster? Ex why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers. And I did not yet know what we would find. On top of that, his mother died. Uh, what is this? A wall. A huge gray... What had been a clear autumn sky is now blocked off by dull gray... Oh, shit. We're in a dome. A biodome starring Polly Shore and Billy Baldwin. Or no, Stephen Baldwin. One of the bald ones. It's dark. Almost like the sun has already gone down. A dome, rather. We appear to be shut in from above as well. It was all, uh... It was all an experiment. <laughs> We're walled in. Uh... What? When did they do this, and how? Well, it's, it, we're, we live in wayward pines. What do you want? What do you want from me? I don't think any of us was in full command of this of his faculties as we came this way. We can't be certain that it wasn't already there. It doesn't seem like most. Li it doesn't seem most likely that it was put up in place while we were all in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. He did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of a shield. A disaster so destructive, there's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous gray blanket and wait. Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic. If that were the case, they would be robbing us of our right to know why our very lives are in danger. Is this really a shelter? Is there really a natural disaster? Find out next week <laughs> on a Tofu Boyfriend. Uh, either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Ancient and all of this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Nanaki about the dome thing. Very well.